So I need a new smart plug. So I decided to check out one of these from Meros. So first of all, a big thank you to everyone who watches the videos and has at some point purchased something from Amazon through to one of the links. I was able to buy this Meros smart Wi-Fi plug with some of the Amazon vouchers that was generated for you guys using the links. So thanks very much. So I've covered this in a couple of other videos. I've moved to an economy tariff. So in the evening, what I wanted to be able to do was be able to charge the Twizy up um, off a three pin plug at a certain time. So obviously the one of the easier ways for me to do that is with a smart plug. So I wanted something that is a similar form factor to the smart things plug um, because where I was trying to slot it in um, it has a very kind of limited uh, hole and some of the other smart plugs are quite large. I wanted to make similar kind of form factor to the smart things and this uh, Maros one is very similar, a little bit um, bigger than I would like, but it's around £15. I'll put a link uh, to it um, in the description. So I've got this from Amazon. Thought I'd share it with you because it seems to work really well. So in terms of um, packaging, very simple, brown box, part numbers on the side. There is a quick installation QR link on the back. Works um, with iOS or Android devices. Have a quick look inside. You get quick start guide, which is basically a replica of what is on the back of uh, the box. Nothing else to see in there. And then this is the plug itself. So you have the serial number and MAC address on the front, obviously been in the UK. This is a three pin plug, very plain um, white kind of unit. Uh, a clickable button on the top here for turning it on and off. This also um, lights up, has a little picture of a house on it so you can see that it's working. And a um, bit of information on the bottom there, so 13 amp load, etc. etc. And so, yeah, I bought this specifically to be able to charge the Twizy up and it is working really well. I've only used it a couple of times, but. Um, I'll show you just on the side here a little overlay that shows kind of the last charges, voltage and everything. So to set it up is really easy. So I'm using um, an iPhone. So install the Meros application. You do have to create an account with them, but this plug doesn't require a, a hub or anything, a base unit. It simply connects to existing Wi-Fi network. It does only connect to 2.4 gigahertz network though. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, sorry, the dog moves around. Um, you can't connect it to a five gigahertz network. It has to be 2.4. But very simple. You go through, select the type of device you're trying to connect to. Obviously, it has to be plugged in and powered on. It will then discover the device and you basically connect to the ad hoc network that it sets up. From there, you put in your um, password of your wireless access point, which then enables it to be able to connect to it directly. And then from there, you can turn it on and off either via the application or via the button. Obviously, you can also connect this through your smart home device as well. So I have um, it configured um, in my uh, Amazon Echo to control this as well. In here, you've got the option of setting up certain scenes. So certain activities will happen, will change uh, whether this comes on or off. Um, but I've just set this up on the time basis. So you have to have um, a timer to set it on and a timer to turn it off. So I just have it to come on a couple of hours uh, overnight uh, around 1 a.m. because my off-peak tariff is between 12.30 and 4.30. It will charge the Twizy for a certain period of time and then turn off. And like I said, it is quite handy that you can check the statistics to show that it has been doing and how much power has been put in there. So something like the Twizy that doesn't have a very informative instrument cluster just shows you the percentage I can see you know, how many kilowatts I've, I've put back into the battery, which also helped for me to kind of understand over time state of charge. So yeah, if you're looking for a smart plug, something that's reasonably priced, so this is like 15 pounds compared to like 50 pounds of the, the smart things one. Some of the larger ones are around 20, 20 pounds. So this is a very affordable um, smart Wi-Fi plug. 
Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.